Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. Yes, I can speak. Um, it is, what, November 8th? November 9th. I finally got my November calendar and goals set up. Only took me one third of the month, yeah. I do have a few finished objects to show you, but first, Here's my cheat sheet. This, this month, I'm going to try to focus on the stuff that has historically sold well for me. Although there are two exceptions to that rule. Posture. First is, the first one here is my Emmy book challenge where you take either a book that you haven't made something from before or a pattern that you haven't made something from before and make something from that. I have a pattern for Fofo the Bull that is on my list for this month. And then my Crazy Critter Challenge. This month, the random number generator picked out a dark blue bear with white stripes. So I can play with that. It might be just a regular color bear with a dark blue shirt and white stripes, no, maybe dark blue pants, and like a red and white striped shirt, sort of patriotic bear. I'll get there eventually. So then the rest of these are all um, stuff that has consistently sold well for me. Hildy, the Highland cow. I'm going to make some of those. In fact, I got the yarn this morning to start one, and I came in here. I need just a little bit of off-white for the snout. Okay, I'll just run back to the craft room and get some. There is a wall between me and the boxes of scrap yarn as I prepare for Saturday's show by doing a, a mock-up setting. So... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get off-white yarn for Hildy's snout. Okay, then. Dachshund. Now, that's my own pattern. I think, yes, I do have one made up in a brown. I have a yarn I'm trying to use up. As I am making this stuff, I am trying to use up yarn from a couple of different sources and one of them was this pastel it's um loops and threads lullaby storybook or something like that a cute little pastel blend i made this bear this is buddy the bear from cassandra at craftably ever after still had some left So I made Tutti Fruity, the Ballerina Kitty. This is a free pattern from Grace and Yarns. And this is one of those things where I think in Ravelry, there are 22 projects for this pattern. Six of them are mine. This is the sixth. The previous five all sold fairly quickly. So I'm being logical this month and I'm making more of these. So since I still have some of this yarn, I'm thinking I might do a Tutti Fruity Dachshund too. Okay, after the Dachshund, the cute mini dino. They're over there. I sold one. I got that idea that I wanted to make like a rainbow of them. And I have pink, purple, green, and blue. I need yellow. So the next one I make of those is going to be yellow. Okay. Um, big Head Turtle. Remember the story? How I was doing that show at the fairgrounds October 21st. And the Chamber of Commerce, as they were advertising for the show, 
kept using a picture of two big head turtles that I had sold like a year before. So I made four of them. I don't think any sold at that show. But as of last Saturday's show, all four of them were sold. So I made one in tan with a pink shell and in green with a tan shell. I, I think I overstuffed this one because the bottom is bulging out here and it makes it hard for it to stand up. So I tried to stuff this one a little more lightly and I think I sort of understuffed this one. So maybe on the next one, I'll get it right. Okay, so that's turtles. Now we're up to the next one. Elephant. Um, I did have two elephants at the beginning of my craft show season. Both of those sold. So I need to make some more elephants. Penguin Mini. This is a little... I don't think I have any of those out right now. I still have to... I'm still unpacking stuff. I have like three bags left from Saturday's show that need to be sorted and packed and get everything figured out. I'll get there eventually. Um, little minigurumi.com chubby baby penguin. Uh, not minigurumi guy. Mini Gurumi on Etsy. Here we go. Um, it's only like a dollar pattern and they work up quickly. Cute way to use up some scrap yarn. I only have two left. I have a pink and a blue left someplace. So I want to, once again, rainbow. Make lots of them. Forest Friends Mini. This is another Mini Gurumi pattern. So they're the pattern comes with red panda, panda bear, brown bear, hedgehog, otter, I think I'm missing one, koala. And they've been a good seller for me. I think I'm all out right now. So I'm going to make some more of those. Hamster. I seem to be on a mini Garumi kick here on my list. Probably because I've got a bunch of big things here and I want to have some little things to balance out. The hamsters, you know, same little size, you know, but yay big. And I go above and beyond the snacks that she has in her pattern. Like I've made little broccoli, carrot, pizza, bagel, no, cookie, you know. All sorts of the idea is you got this cute little hamster and he's holding something in his paws to eat okay then oh not up here ankylosaurus big my usual pattern it's handmade by Halim for the ankylosaurus that turns out to be about uh, 14 inches long i also have printed out a pattern for a smaller one i think it's only going to be about eight inches long from complicated knots, um, wa waffles the ankylosaur. So I haven't made one of those yet, but it's on my list. And then I don't think the last item on here, I don't think the last item is on my blog post for my goals because I added it in chickens. I need to make more chickens. So I think I'm down to two and make sure that they have a nest and a couple of eggs so I can have the little sign saying okay you can buy the chicken individually or you can add the nest and two eggs for five dollars so that's it oh another thing I finished I made a little pink pig this was a free pattern um, it's on Ravelry, semi-realistic pig, and at my last local show, I had someone ask if I had pigs. She wanted a pink pig, so if people follow through, I should have this and 
at least one red octopus sold at Saturday's show. Because people were saying they were coming back for stuff. So, <clears throat> how am I going to get... Maybe if I crawled under the table, I could reach up behind it and like keep pulling yarn out until I until I win the prize of having some off-white yarn. Maybe I could find some in some other more accessible location. Or I could just move a couple of these crates and access the box. But I'm going to work on a Highland cow tonight. I have a customer coming by at 4 o'clock, which is 50 minutes away, to pick up an airplane. And uh, I have to do a little bit more sorting here, trying to get this in shape for Saturday. So much to do, so little time. It's a Thursday. I usually go to my daughter's house, but they're sick at their house today. So I'm home. We'll make a big fancy dinner. Um, my husband feels better, like his sense of taste has returned. He's not coughing quite as much. So he's like, you know those Cornish game hens you have in the, in the freezer? You could make those tonight. So I make them in the air fryer. So it's, it's pretty easy. So the Cornish game hens, um, baked sweet potatoes. He said he was going to pick Brussels sprouts from the garden for me to roast for dinner tonight too. I don't know if he did that because it's been yucky and rainy all day today. Cold and rainy and just brrr. Um, so I've got starch and probably a nice salad too. Because I bought salad on Monday and we haven't had any salad yet. I need to make some salad. So that's it. I'm going to go play with yarn. And <laughs> try to get some awful white from behind me. That's the plan. Bye-bye.